Here is question 1a part 3. So we've got our tree diagram at the top with all our different combinations of our first and second harvest and then going to export market or factory. So that's how we've got that there. Now question number 3, part 3 here, is saying if an apple is sold at the local market, what is the probability that it was from the first harvest? Okay, so this is now not just talking about all apples. This is now only just talking about if the apple is sold at the local market. So we are only interested in the apples that meet that criteria. So that's the first thing that we need to do, is to look and say, right, from these ones, which meet that criteria of going being sold at the local market? So the very first one, PE, that's being picked going for export, does not meet does not meet um, that criteria. The next one, PM, picked going to market, that does meet the criteria. The third one, PF, picked on the first harvest, going to the factory, does not meet. Then the next one, not picked the first harvest, picked the second harvest, sent for export, that doesn't meet the criteria of going to the local market. The next one, not picked the first time, picked the second harvest and going to the market, that does meet our criteria, so we're interested in that. This next one, not picked the first time, picked in the second harvest and going to the factory, that does not meet the criteria. And the last one, not picked the first harvest and not picked the second harvest, again, doesn't meet the criteria. So what we want to do is we can say, well, what is the probability that, it was, that, that this apple went to the local market to be sold? And we've got two possible ways to combine that. We've got the probability of going being picked in the first harvest and then going to market, or, and notice how I just said and, or sorry, written down plus when I said or, because in probability or is plus, and is times. The second option is that it was not picked the first harvest, picked the second harvest, and then sent to market with, um, after that. So I'm going to add those two probabilities together, and that's going to give me 0 0.217, plus 0.03255 and that will give me a probability of 0 0.24955 okay so what I've found so far is I've just found this first part I've said well what is the probability it's sold at the local market now this is a condition this is the subgroup so I know now the size of the subgroup that the ones, apples that were sold at market make up 24.955% of all the apples on the trees. So we want to know what the probability of it coming from the first harvest is. So this is where we turn it into a conditional probability. So we want to say what is the probability of it coming from the being picked in the first harvest, okay, um, given that it came from the market okay and that's where we can say right from our two possibilities there which one of those we've got a pm and an npm which of those combinations meet the criteria of being picked the first harvest and the only one that does is the top one here the 0 0.217 that was picked the first harvest and then sent to market the other one does not meet that criteria it was picked on the second harvest, not the first. So my conditional probability is going to be my 0 0.217 over um, the probability of going to market, which is 0 0.24955. And that gives me a value of 0 0.8696, rounded to four decimal places.